All right, today we're going to play a counting game and a fine motor game combined with some of the supplies that you guys have been getting. Um, you will need your magnetic numbers or since I didn't get your, your cool bag, I had to write my own numbers. So if you don't have the numbers anymore or didn't get them, um, you can write numbers on the piece of paper. I just wrote numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I folded the paper up. So it's a surprise what's on the, on the paper. And stuck it in this cup. Mix them up a little bit. And then I'm ready to play my game. I got my Play-Doh and my numbers. So to play the game, you're just going to pick a number out of the cup and see what I got. Let's see. I have number six. So for the game I'm going to make six balls of play-doh. Now you can make any shape you want. If you have cookie cutters you could, or you need really little cookie cutters probably, you could cut out some shapes to do or you could get, you could use your um, dinosaur counters that came this in this latest bag too. So I'm just going to get some of the Play-Doh. I'm not going to need all of it. And just break off some pieces until I get six. So there's one. Two. Do them side by side. Buddies. Three. Four. Five, six. So there's my six. Now you could leave it out, and if you want to make it a game, you could take turns. So the other person can take a turn and make theirs. And then when it's your turn again, pick a new one. Oh, mine aren't very mixed up, are they? I have number seven. Six and plus one more is seven. So. Do you think I will have more balls of Play-Doh than over here with number six? Here, I moved them off screen. Do you think I will have more than these or less? I think the hint is that seven is one more. So there's one, two, three. You're using your fine motor, your writing muscles, your finger muscles. Well, your fingers don't have muscles, but your finger strength to um, pull the Play-Doh off. So you're working, working your hands out and your mind. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and now seven. So look, there's more. There's one down here that's not over here. Seven is more. Let's do one more. So I'll reach in there. I'm going to reach to the bottom this time. Let's see what we got in my cup here. I have number five. So let's think. Do you think five will be more than six or less? Or will it be more than seven or less? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Once everyone's had a turn or once you're done, you should you can count and see how many who who ends up with more play-doh balls all together. So if someone else was playing and maybe had the red Play-Doh, they would count theirs and I would count my blue ones and we'd see which one had more. So that could be another way to play the game. But that's a good way to practice counting and work on your hand strength for writing. Alright, you try this at home, okay?